Hello, it's Nigel Sadler again. I found this old book, sorting out some uh, old stuff from my parents' house. It's the Pears Cyclopedia from 1921. Um, and this is Pears as in the soap, as you will see later on. It's in very poor condition. Um, uh, it's got, uh, and it comes in 20 different sections from the English dictionary through to the ready reckoner at the end. Um, it's virtually falling apart. The first section is the dictionary, but the front of the book is missing, so it actually starts on page five. But what I like about it is that each section has a lovely illustration to, uh, to start it. There's the um, Pears Dictionary of General Information and uh, these two characters in the laboratory. I've done some close-up views so you can see those better, which I shall um, add in here and there. There's a section here on British coinage, which is quite fascinating. There's a lot of general information stuff, which goes on and on and on, through to Pears Dictionary of Prominent People. And there's some very posh looking people looking at a picture of what looks, looks like William Shakespeare. And there's lots of sections, a little bit of biographies on lots of different people. The next one is Pears Classical Dictionary. And a lovely old duffer sitting with his pipe in a chair and a dog at his feet. On the opposite page is a list of air raids on England and Scotland during the First World War. The timing and place and the amount of bombing that occurred. Next section is the office compendium. On the opposite page, Presidents of the United States. And uh, the last one is in 1921, where Warren G. Harding took over um, and succeeded um, Wilson Woodrow, who was obviously president during the First World War. Following, we have Pears Dictionary of the Nursery. It's all about children and childcare. Which is quite extraordinary. And then we move into the Gazetteer of the World. And there's a census as well. You're back here, Census of Great Britain and a Census of the United States. Uh, in 1921, Worthing's population was, a very small writing, 35,224, I think it says. Uh, here's the Atlas of the World, some lovely old uh, maps, general views of the world under the solar system. Then we have Pears Dictionaries of Events with a couple of uh, monk type characters writing up something. Um, but a chronicle of the Great War from day to day starting um, on the 28th of June 1914 and concluding on the 11th of November, 1918. And then we have the Pears Dictionary of Gardening, which would interest the gardeners. The gardening calendar and what you should plant, and so on and so forth. Next, there's the Dictionary of Cookery, extraordinarily enough, and some Various cooking notes and cooking tips on um, brawn, brawn and ox cheek. And we've got Pears Dictionary of Health and some strapping fellas um, by the seaside. And then we have sports and pastimes, so the golfers and their plus tweeds. The Dictionary of the Toilet. Yes, somebody having their hair done. Next we have Pears Dictionary of Business. Um, and various technical terms connected to book to uh, business life. Pears Dictionary of Photography, which would interest Richard. Um, we'll talk about the te technology of photography. 
pairs of dictionary of motoring back in the day when you had cars like that probably just essentially told you how to keep your car up and running I suspect um, domestic pets how to keep your rabbits and f fowl and mice and rats and all sorts of things like that there's a ready reckoner section which is full of tables how to calculate multiples of quantities in pounds shillings and pence it also talks about the metric system here which it calls instantly the French system which is quite uh, intriguing and finally there's the science of soap um, a lecture by Andrew Wilson um, who talks about soap which of course is um, Piers's main product and uh, that's kind of it really this lovely advert at the back Piers soap you dirty boy this little fellow hadn't washed he wishes now he had but once he's used Pears soap, why then? He won't think washing bad. The world over, Pears is the soap used in th thrifty homes. It is hard and lasting, besides being dainty and refined. Pears really cleanses the skin to wash away the, works, the day's work with all it is a pleasure. So there we go. Pears, my appointment to... Um, his Majesty the King and Queen.